I've never won with Crackle with Power. That was really sick. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on everybody and welcome back to some more standard gameplay videos. I am super excited to jump into today's deck. Now, as I uh, kind of mentioned in the previous gameplay video, first and foremost, subscribe if you're not already. We'd really appreciate it. It would mean a lot to us. We do have a giveaway going on right now as well. You can win a free draft booster box of uh, the new Kamigawa Neon Dynasty set when it comes out. Uh, I believe the winner is chosen on February 23rd. But second, I'm kind of just playing jank stuff in standard and I kind of like it. I I don't know, like obviously during the break, uh, I didn't really play much magic just in general, but uh, as we came back, I was just like, you know, I'm kind of just feeling a lot of jank stuff. And so we're trying that, uh, that mentality again today. Uh, I should mention this was created by a user on Aetherhub and I apologize, they don't have a YouTube channel, uh, or at least they didn't post a video on this, uh, but it is uh, TJ Soapcack. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, I apologize if I didn't, but uh, thank you so much for posting this on Aetherhub. I really do appreciate it. And this is a fun list. It's Jund Reanimator. So the way that this deck works is really simple, actually. It's self-mill with a lot of things like Undead Butler, Mulch, uh, Old Rutstein, which is one of my favorite cards, uh, and just some other general stuff you can discard with Celestis, things like that. Um, all of it being very, very good. Oh, excuse me, Cathartic, cathartic Pyre as well. Uh, just lots of really powerful discard spells. That's going to hopefully get some of our big stuff into the graveyard. So we've got Goldspan Dragon, we've got Burning Rune Demon, Olivia, which is really the big key, uh, and then Old Nabo as well which is kind of another way to win with uh, crackle with power and just dealing tons of damage uh, now we also do have diagraphery birth this is a way that we can flash this back even if this does hit the graveyard uh, and still use it as a reanimation spell now obviously if it's just in our hand it's a little cheaper which is good but in general it's just a really solid spell we do have a little bit of removal, some things that we can use. We've got Binding of the Old Gods as well as Heroes Downfall. Kind of nice to have this hit Planeswalkers as well as Creatures, so very happy to see that. And then additionally, we do have the Meat Hook Massacre uh, as a one of here, just to deal with any of the low ground stuff that uh, we might need to sweep for. So all that to say, it's a pretty straightforward list. It's one that we've seen kind of this mentality before, but we've not necessarily seen this list. So I'm really excited to try this one out. Again, thank you so much to the creator of this deck, and I apologize if you had a video, I'd link to it. I apologize, I can't do that. But uh, regardless, this is gonna be a fun one, guys. We're gonna send this through a few games, have some fun today, and just see how it goes. So let's jump into game one right now. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and this isn't an amazing hand, <clears throat> excuse me, but it is a keep. I think we will just go with this one. We've got the turn two mulch, which is pretty useful. Uh, it's gonna hopefully help us hit those black sources. I am gonna go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, and play the Rockfall Veil first. Uh, perfect, okay, that's really, really good. So let's do this. We'll go ahead and mulch now. It's gonna throw some cards into our graveyard. Uh, Fortunately, one of them being the Burning Room Demon, which is actually a good thing. So that's going to be our most likely reanimation target at this point. Uh, ooh, very good. Okay. Uh, well, that's just fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead then. Let's go for the ramp play. It's going to hopefully help us get to that Burning Room Demon immediately. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you switch to not with different names. Put your hand in the other graveyard. Awesome. All right. Um, I will draw a card, that's fine. Perfect, and we'll just discard that. Uh, now the trick here is do we feel they might have a uh, counter spell? Chances are maybe, but uh, I feel like we gotta try, right? So we're gonna go for it. The good thing again about this, this has flashbacks. So even if this does get countered, we have we have outs here. So I'm not terribly worried about it. I'd, I'd rather put the pressure on if we can. Wow. Okay, test of talents, just to wreck us. Well, fair enough. Uh, that's pretty big because that does take out <clears throat> all of these, actually. So now our biggest hope is to hit, I guess, Olivia and just play her outright and hope that we can uh, get there with that. That's rough. 
but I think we can still manage. Let's go for the old red steen here. Stein, steen, whatever. This is a nice way to gain incremental value as well, so uh, looks like they're going to counter it. That's fine. Uh, we actually just get to replay it here, so that's cool. Uh, we do mill a gold span dragon. Um, we gain a life here, and then if we would like to, we can actually discard a card. Um, like draw and discard a card. I think I will take that action. There's the Olivia. Hmm. Uh, I weirdly think it's binding that we throw back. Uh, binding is super good, so don't get me wrong there, but they're not really playing a lot of permanents. Um, and so I'd kind of rather just force the issue a little bit here. Now we'll see what they actually do. They may uh, have a removal spell. It looks like they do. That's actually okay. Again, we've got Olivia now, so uh, let's go for it. This is a freebie this turn. Let's go ahead and attack in. I think it's just this. Uh, we'll take the action. So one of these goes into our graveyard. One goes into our hand, I believe. Yes. We'll just take this, I suppose. Both of which are very good cards, so I'm good either way. Uh, Old Knobbone is really the one we want, I suppose. Um, so I'm glad they put that in the hand, actually. And there we go. That was a pretty big hit. Uh, now, the trick is if they remove Olivia, they remove the, the demon as well, uh, which is a little annoying. But again, we can make that do. Perfect. This does exile. Curious to see what they're actually considering, because I believe they have priority at the moment. I don't know what they could be considering. For three mana, I would just let this exile, I think. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, guys, also, just a quick heads up. I'm trying to be a little more proactive with our content as we uh, await our opponent's decision. We're trying to be a bit more proactive, a bit more on schedule with our content at the start of 2022. What that means for you guys is a constant stream of stuff from our Instagram to our Twitter, all the way up to our YouTube channel. So I'm actually pre-recording this a little bit early to see if I can continue that trend and uh, push things in the right direction here. I do want to keep content coming at you guys as quickly or as often as I can, excuse me. And if I can get daily gameplay, even over the weekend, which I know is not the norm prior to uh, the, the start of the year, I'd like to try and do that. So we'll see how it goes, of course, but I just want to keep you guys informed, keep you guys in the loop and uh, see what we can do. I guess we should have played this first, but it was only one treasure token we were standing to, to get there. Chances are they've got some instant speed spell that's like a divide by zero or something, um, but that's fine. Yep, there it is. So here they're going to get to environmental sciences. Sure. Again, not that big of a deal. That's kind of fine. Uh, it's slow. It's slowing us down quite a bit, and that is scary, but uh, it's not the end of the world. So we'll see. We will see. Also, guys, check this out. I've got a little elf cup. Look at look at this. Yeah, <laughs> it's like an elf beer glass, but I don't drink beer. So. All right. They choose a non land card from it and they, we discard that card. Sure. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, OK, well, in this case, I am going to play it out because they only have one black mana available. That's hilarious to me uh, that we drew that. Now we've got a hero's downfall available to us, so I guess that is very relevant. All right, cool. They're gonna kill it. Makes sense. Uh, what do we want? Probably just Olivia again. What could that be? Probably like a Alron's Epiphany or something along those lines. Uh, I think we do this first. So this is going to gain us a life, and we are going to take this action. Uh, I think we throw this back. Discard up to two cards, then draw that many. I think we do this. It's only for one. It's not super exciting, I know, but um, we do kind of need to get something. <laughs> oh, no. OK, well, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and attack him for one. Not again, a very exciting play, but we're kind of Getting a little unlucky here. Uh, the test of talents 
Was that what it was? Is that, am, I, am I reading that correctly? Uh, yes, Test of Talents was very, very big for them. Okay. Um, I'm gonna attempt to kill this. They may have a counter spell, but we're gonna wear them out if we can. Uh, I would love to pay three. That's perfectly fine. Okay, they're gonna behold the multiverse. They're gonna get a pest token. Perfectly fine, but we're gonna get rid of this while we can. Just noticed they have a white source. So they're Esper. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Did not expect that, I'll be honest. One top, one bottom. And then draw two. So they could draw a counter or divide by zero. Okay. That's kind of okay. That's not the end of the world for us. Uh, I'm going to decline in this case. Um, okay. I'm going to sacrifice a treasure to draw a card here. Hmm. And I think we'll just play the Undead Butler, right? Okay. Uh, I will attack here. I'm wondering if this is a Meat Hook Massacre deck, in which case I'd rather just get the, the trade off here. Um, cool. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, when this dies, exile it. You can return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So the trick here is what we can actually do is at the end of the turn, kind of play with them a little bit um, and hopefully get Olivia. Can we... We do have one in the graveyard. Yes. Okay. Huh. Are they going to leave up all this mana? Looks like they might. Let's do this. We're going to return Olivia, though. Uh, I think we still have to force the issue. Take action. Let's get her. That's a nice little like tech piece that we are able to do here. And we also do just draw a card, which is kind of nice. Um, gets us a little further into the deck. Unfortunately, it's nothing too crazy, but. All right, I think we just go for this first. Uh, again, chances are gonna get a counter. No, well, maybe, but not yet. They've got consider. That does take them off double blue though. Which is relevant. Okay. I like that. Uh, okay. Hmm. So we attack here. We get... This is kind of the fun part, if this works the way we'd like it to, is we get old Nawbone back here. If both of these land, one, they're de just dead, I suppose, but two, we actually would get quite a bit of treasure token. <clears throat> assuming they aren't dead, uh, but we'll see. Chances are they've got a way to deal with this. All they have to do is bounce Olivia, I suppose, and old Nawbone gets exiled. So that's a little bad, but again, it is what it is. We'll see if it works. I have hopes. I have high hopes, guys. <laughs> uh, by the way, guys, I hadn't really talked about it too much, but I hope everybody did have a fantastic holiday. Uh, whether you celebrated Christmas or not, and if you had a great new year, I hope you all did. Hopefully you got some family time, maybe even some friend time. Maybe you got to play a little magic along the way. Uh, but I hope you guys had a fantastic break. Um, we certainly enjoyed some time with family. We had a lot of family time, uh, which is great. I'm very happy we got it. Uh, but we didn't really get much time to just chill like Caitlin and I didn't. Um, she... Didn't have as long a break. She's a school teacher for anybody that doesn't know. Uh, she teaches fourth grade and she didn't have as long a break as she normally did, uh, which is good and bad. On the one hand, it means she gets out of the end of the year earlier, but two, uh, unfortunately during that break, it was kind of condensed. Uh, and so we had like, I think a day or two by ourselves. We had family staying with us for a little while, uh, visiting both sides of the family. And so it was, it was a little rough, but uh, we had a good time. We did. And uh, it was great to see everybody. A lot of people from out of town, which is kind of nice. Uh, and we were all very safe, which is important. So I hope everybody out there stayed safe throughout this uh, this holiday and this weird pandemic going on. I hope everybody is remaining safe. 
Looks like the opponent sees the writing on the wall and is just going to let the timer run down. Um, it is what it is. I hate when people do this because it's just frustrating for everybody. But you got to stick with it. Got to stick with it. I am not giving up. I will never give up. <laughs> uh, I do really like this deck, though. It's very fun. I love Jund as a color combination. I love Reanimator as a strategy. It's just kind of everything I like in one package, and uh, it's pretty good. All right. We won, guys. After an enormously long wait, we got it. So awesome. Let's move on to game two. Let's see if we can get another win. All right, guys, here we are for our second game. Uh, and this is interesting. It's a little slow, right? Um, but you know, I'm gonna try it. If these, if any one of these wasn't a tap land, it would be kind of okay, because we've got the mulch. Um, but we're gonna give it a shot regardless and just see if we can make it happen. Um, looks like the opponent is starting on a tap land as well. So at least we know turn one, they didn't have anything. <laughs> turn two, it looks like the same, so that's good. Uh, let's do this, and let's go ahead and play the Celestis here. Again, being able to ramp is just so, so helpful, especially in this style deck, so I'm all too happy to get this down now. That allows us to Binding of the Old Gods if they are to play a permanent this turn, uh, which, kind of, um, and we'll see what happens. Okay, um, non-land permanent, so unfortunately that's not going to work. Uh, albeit, I guess we can Meat Hook Massacre? Uh, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna do that. Um, not a super exciting play, I know, but this does set him back a land, uh, which is semi-relevant, and essentially a card as well, so I'm kinda cool with that. Um, this also sets us up quite nicely, so anytime we blow something up, there's a little bit of a benefit to it. Uh, which we do have the mana to do, so yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, ideally, next turn we can mulch plus Skullport Merchant, maybe? Um, yes, I will happily take that action. Ooh, very good. Okay, yeah, we definitely throw the Olivia back. Uh, easy, easy play. Ooh, that's very good as well. Uh, well, in that case, I think we just play Goldspan Dragon, uh, and we do attack in with it. That's going to give us that treasure token. Now I'm kind of wishing we hadn't uh, dropped the... Yeah, let's go ahead and mulch. Dropped the Olivia just because we can play off of the uh, the treasure tokens here, but that's okay. Cool. Uh, and yes, we will draw and discard, I believe, here. Um, I just think that's probably the correct play. Huh. I do love the incremental life gain from this. It just seems very relevant. There's another gold span dragon. That's pretty interesting. Um, I think we throw you back. Because we can just play this gold span dragon again. We've got plenty of mana at this point. So really, this is just a matter of we have to force out as much damage as we can. Creature control with a one counter as menace. Very cool. So their goal, it looks like at the very least, is to throw some counters around, give menace to everything, and be able to swing in pretty clearly. That's pretty good. Um, however, not good enough, uh, as it turns out. And here we actually have a very substantial play because we get to binding the old gods after the attack. Most likely. Most likely. Uh, assuming they don't have anything for one mana. Uh, we also just get to deal eight, so they're on a turn two clock here. It's a very interesting list. I haven't seen this, uh, so very cool. There's those. Uh, easy, easy way to... Uh, we're going to go ahead and pay for this. Might as well go for it here, uh, just because it's going to help us get a land out of the deck. It's uh, We want to use those and keep them off of their pressure as best we can, so it's just an easy way to do that. Okay, sure. So they are going to get this back, uh, and it does get an extra counter on it, but, I mean, cool. <laughs> we are going to get a uh, forest here, so that's pretty useful. And we do have just the crackle with power, worth noting, so eventually um, we, we do just kind of win with that. <laughs> uh, we'll see, though. Crackle with Power is a nice addition as just a one of into this deck. I do feel, uh, and again, I apologize to the, the creator of the list because your name's very complicated, but uh, was it TJ? Whatever it was, I apologize. But it's at the beginning of the video. Um, 
I do think you you really crafted a, a cool deck here. Uh, very, very good, very solid, and very much enjoy this one. So thank you so much for sharing on Aether Hub. I hope it's okay that we used it. Um, I, uh, I try and make sure we credit whoever's deck we are using. Uh, and because I like to pre-record, it's a lot easier for for me to net deck, unfortunately. Uh, I know that's not super popular to do, but it is what it is, uh, and it does make sense for us. Okay. That's not a great play. <laughs> uh, I mean, they needed to do that, so I, I get it. Um, but I think... Uh, I think we're definitely going to win this, and it looks like... Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. I mean, again, a very interesting list by the opponent here. It looks like very 1-1 one -one counter heavy. Uh, love the Golgari theme, but I don't think it's going to work here. Um, all right, so we're going to grab a forest, uh, if we have any, which we don't. That's kind of surprising. Um... All right, well, first things first, we are going to attack. Let's make sure this works first. Um, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can do this for X equals two. And just do this. And we should just win five times X damage to each of up to X targets. So two targets, five times it. There we go. Easy, easy. I've never won with Crackle with Power. That was really sick. All right, let's move on, guys. We're going to shoot for one more game. Let's see if we can do an undefeated run with this list. All right, guys, here we are. This is going to be our final game, most likely. Uh, and do we like this hand? It's very heavy on the, the big stuff, so I think I'm gonna toss this back. Uh, Undead Butler is quite good. Let's throw, let's throw the old knob bone back. I think that's probably the correct play. Um, all right. We definitely are gonna need the black, so let's go ahead and lead on that. We can throw this other pathway down for the green if we'd like to mulch. Um, alternatively, we can shoot for red here, and we've got the green with the Death Cap Glade. It's gonna mill a few cards for us, which is great. Uh, and it looks like we already have an Olivia in the graveyard, so that's very good. Um, very, very happy to see that. Opponent probably gonna just kill this. <laughs> <clears throat> um, this is a, a tricky card to kill, though, because it does return the Olivia to our hands, so it is something to think about, but. Looks like they are not even considering any other alternatives, so that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the Olivia back here. Ooh, kind of wishing I didn't, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and mulch. Grab a couple lands here, which is good. And now we've got a Goldspan Dragon in the graveyard, which is very useful. Uh, that's going to give us a target for the uh, Diagraph Rebirth here. Whoever enters the battlefield or attacks, excellent. Oh! Okay, that's very, very annoying, uh, but in a weird way works for us because we can kill it, discard the Olivia to the kill or the the ward trigger. This might work out. Let's do this. We have to discard a card. Um, I think it's just the Olivia. Not positive on that, but I think it's the Olivia. And uh, now we just have a target for the Rebirth. Hopefully they just don't have another Glutton. Uh, I mean, it's the best we can hope for. Uh, unfortunately, though, we don't have a second creature to hit with the Olivia, which is a little annoying, but not the end of the world. Let's get an attack in here. Swarm under its owner's control. Okay. I assume they can probably kill Olivia. Uh, but it's kind of okay again because we've got the Burning Rune Demon in our hand, which we can just play next turn, uh, and we certainly intend to, so. Ooh, old Knob Bone as well. Uh, I very much enjoy that. Uh, okay, let's just go ahead, let's play the, the Demon. We'll take the action. Um, let's grab... I think you... 
and you. I think it's just those two. We'll see which one they want to throw in the graveyard and which one they want to throw into the hand. Either way, uh, it's kind of okay. Okay. Cool. Hmm. It's a very interesting card here. Nice. Okay, so they can make the Goldspan Dragon cost some more, uh, which is relevant, I suppose. Uh, it costs two more, so now that's up to seven mana, which just means we're not guaranteed the ability to play it this coming turn. Uh, so that's very relevant, but we might be able to make this work anyway. Um, with lifelink. Okay, so it doesn't have flying. That's very important for us. I am going to go ahead and fill that. I understand this comes back, but it's kind of okay. All right. Um... Let's first mulch. I think that's definitely the right play. Let's go ahead and play a land. Um, I'm just going to hear his downfall this. I'm going to get it out of there now uh, and attack him. Cool. We do want to keep the pressure on because these little 1-1s one are going to get annoying if we don't, but uh, I have every confidence that we should be able to handle this. They have four cards in hand. Okay. That does exile, which is very relevant. Um, all right, let's play land. Let's see what's in our graveyard real quick. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Gonna attack. Uh, we'll get the Goldspan Dragon. Yeah, and hopefully that's enough. Um, we do have this other Goldspan Dragon just on backup here, basically. Um, and next turn, we've got the old knob in play if we if we need to. So I'm feeling pretty good. Ooh, these do have reach, which is very relevant. And the lifelink is relevant. So this is all very important. Oh. Hmm. Well, that kind of solves the problem, I guess, doesn't it? Okay, so we do this for one. And we win! <laughs> All right, guys, let's chat about this list. All right, guys, so Jund Reanimator in Standard. Again, kind of a janky-ish list, but uh, it went undefeated which is pretty amazing. That is awesome. I uh, absolutely love this list. I love Jun, like I mentioned earlier, Reanimator as a strategy is very fun to me. Uh, and I do think this deck is extraordinarily well put together. So again, credit where credit is due. Thank you so much for posting this on Aetherhub uh, and uh, sharing it with the community because I do think it's it's sick. Like that was really good. Uh, anyway, undefeated guys. I love it. That's our first undefeated round since the start of 2022, which is pretty awesome. So go us, please please make sure you enter the giveaway uh, that we have going on right now until February 23rd. We're giving you guys a lot of time for this one uh, because it's a big one. We're giving away an entire booster box of uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. So please do subscribe. That's one way to enter. But check out the video that we have posted on the channel uh, as well as the information on our website. You can check all that out at itresolvesmtg.com. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.